Come join us today at the Kennedy Space Center as we show you a brand new scavenger hunt for the Artemis program, which runs through August 7th. We're also going to show you some things that we did miss in our last trip, so I'll link our first video down below. But thank you to Kennedy Space Center for inviting us out so we can show you everything that there is to do here. All right, where are we today? Today we're at the Kennedy Space Center. We're going to do scavenger, scavenger hunt and ride some rides. Yeah, we're going to ride the simulators. All right. Yay. All right, let's go, part two. We're here for round two. We missed things on our first trip because this place is insanely huge, bigger than we thought. We're going to try to catch what we missed <laughs> and do the new scavenger hunt that they have uh, running through August. So we got to go pick up our little scavenger hunt map and kind of go through the different exhibits, find those, and I believe you probably learned something in each one. We'll see. We're gonna go check to see if it, the booklet's in here and see if there's any other spots too. I'm sure you can get it inside. So we got our booklet to start in, but first we're gonna stop at the Gateway, which is the brand new complex that we toured in our first visit. But there are some flight flown artifacts that are part of the Artemis program in here. I will show on the screen the items that are part of the Artemis missions, but it is really cool to see part of history and the fact that astronauts are going back to the moon. There will be the first woman landing on the moon and the first person of color. Now we're stopping in here to do the new simulator ride and the first time we did it, the line was all the way in the first floor and it was about a 60 minute wait, at least at the time. This time it's up the ramp and it's only about 30 minutes from that point. The new complex is really neat. It has a lot of different exhibits, a lot of hands-on things, and of course the new simulator ride, which this last time we did the Cosmic Wonders, and this time we chose Red Planet. It's very similar to Soren at Epcot, but more educational, so I will include a few highlights of the Red Planet. The seats come out and you do move a little bit, but it's not too rough of a ride. <laughs> Presentation. One of these days we would like to do that, but we are out here trying to see if we can find one of the signs for the scavenger hut. It's narrated by Daisy Ridley, which she plays with Ray in uh, Star Wars. Anyone's? There's also a journey to Mars. Shows launching daily and meet a space person, meet an astronaut these times too. So every half hour, this is a 15-minute show, journey to Mars. This is the IMAX that is 3D glasses here and they have a popcorn stand. 12.02, these two options. And we found, oh, there's Legos. We found one of the scavenger hunt things and we have to scan this QR code. All right, so it just came up on YouTube, how we are going to the moon. And then where is the spot on there? Right there, I just put the sticker on it. And we have to find what the answer is in this. Of course, there is an the answer key. Orion. Orion, Orion, okay. So that is the question we have to answer and watch this to find out. And they have Legos over here. Let's see what they got. So they have a Mars Exploration Rover made out of Legos. It's pretty cool. Lift a brick to learn more. They have a building. Of course, they have a bunch of building at Legoland, which we have a ton of videos on. Kids love it there. We completely missed this Lego area last trip, but it's connected to the huge playground area for the kids and the IMAX all in one building. It's just a nice stop if you want to spend or 10 or 15 minutes building Legos and getting out of the sun. 
Yes, I made a Duplo. She loves making the bad guys from the Lego movie, right? Mm -hmm. I job. like the bad guy. I love it. <laughs> see, let, let me see what you build, buddy. It's a flag. It's a flag? Yeah. I love it. Good job, buddy. I was just trying to squeeze it together so it stayed together. <laughs> We went back right next to that Journey to Mars theater and met the space person, which they had the times for. Now, we met a real astronaut on the last trip, and they do have add-ons that you can have lunch with an astronaut, but this is just a character meet and greet. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Where the big NASA logo and American flag are, that is where the bus tours are, and that's completely included in admission. Usually the bus tours stop at 2.30 because it takes about 15 minutes to get there, and then you spend time at that complex, and then you come back. And then we will show the astronaut training experience because we did miss the opportunity to go in there last trip. There's an ice cream shop, and there is another theater, as well as a rocket garden grill. So we also miss the Heroes and Legends area. We'll kind of take a peek in there. And there's nature and technology. So there's a lot to this place that we still haven't explored. Some Native American first Floridians artifacts such as shell tools, pottery fragments, projectile points. Ooh. Spanish soldier's helmet worn by conquistadors. With some history. It's pretty cool. Everyday life in Brevard County. This is a wildlife deer, squirrel, possum. They're realistic animals, but they're actually not real. They're decorations. Got some gators. Got eight rats. Water That's moccasin. A oh, and a possum. Are. Okay, there's five nests. Five active bald eagle Daddy. nests. That's awesome. Daddy. What do you see? It's a turtle! Yeah, I see the turtle. I like it because it's air conditioned in here. <laughs> oh, wild hogs. Bobcat, raccoon. Okay, a bobcat and a rattlesnake. So funny enough, this ended up being the kids' favorite area for the day. They kept going around and around looking at all the animals. It does seem to be less busy during the week, of course. And when we went, well, okay, then a Friday. We went on a Friday and it was a lot busier and the opening of Gateway, but it's actually not too bad right now. And we're eating just some snacks that we brought. We're gonna get some ice cream later. This is the manual for the scavenger hunt, and then each station you get to answer the question, and I guess there's a bonus too. There's six stations. And you put these stickers on the map, and there is an answer key if there's any that are maybe too hard. It's upside down. So that's kind of nice. And it seems like each QR code takes you to a video, like a YouTube video, and then it helps you answer the questions. It's a completely free activity. I'll show you the prize at the end, and then they have a special event on the final weekend with a DJ party, some different dance parties and fun activities. So that will be that weekend of the 7th. For the Heroes and Legends exhibit, there ended up being a show that we had to wait for. So we're gonna do that a different time when we're gonna go check out the astronaut training experience. I have noticed with a lot of the exhibits, there's usually some sort of pre-show. So if you have little ones, just be prepared. It might be a 15 or 20 minute pre-show with a lot of the exhibits before you can go and explore. Walking into the astronaut training experience, it's just a little office. You actually have to pay about $150 per person, depending on what you want to do, but it actually looks really cool. You would be doing the things that astronauts would be doing. It could be anywhere from about five hours, and you, they do recommend uh, ages 10 and up. My kids are a little young, so not yet, but I would love to do this when they get older. This sounds like a very unique experience. Oh, there we go. See, that's the kind of stuff we do. This is five to seven hours. Yeah. So this is an extra cost. I love that. Heading back into the huge Atlantis building that we explored last time, we went a little bit earlier this time, so there ended up being two pre-shows, which was about 15 to 20 minutes. But as you can see on this schedule, there are quite a few different theaters and a lot of different videos that you can watch throughout the day. 
The first theater showed how they built the Atlantis shuttle, and then this was a really neat theater, actually. It went around the whole room, and when this screen comes up, you're right in front of the Atlantis shuttle. We were really surprised. That's kind of Yeah, we didn't see it that way. That was kind of neat. Yeah. It's NASA's fourth space flown shuttle, the fourth one. Yeah, see, 20, it's in service 26 years to include 33 missions. Well, look, it's the United States. Yeah, from the United States. So, as you can see, dirt around the hatch from 26 years of getting in and out of Atlantis. So they actually have a space toilet and they show bedrooms and how they live. This complex of where the Atlantis uh, shuttle is is massive. There's a simulator ride, there's all kinds of things to explore. So this is the simulators for the training, at least the free version, because the other version looks a lot more serious and training, five to seven hours. These are just some little simulators. This is one thing that we did miss here last time. Of course, kids love press them buttons. Look, we're out of control. We're out of control. We're out of control. Another time we had to get a locker for all of that. In the Atlantis building, there is another scavenger hunt one. Found it. I have a fun fact. I have a fun fact and the QR code to scan to watch the video. Right outside the Atlantis building, there is a Space Dots that has a bunch of different flavors. These were only $6 versus when we ate inside the Saturn building with the bus tour. That was $8 for a little one. So you might as well go here and get more for your money. I'm gonna go in the space shop and get our little scavenger hunt reward. I think it's like a little pin, that'll be cute. And I will do a separate short vlog of the store tour in here just because there's probably a lot of stuff to explore of what kind of merch they have. So let's go see if we can get the pen. So this was the prize while supplies last, a little pen for the Artemis program again since we are going on the moon. I'm here while I did the tour of the store so I'm gonna get to let them run around then we're gonna go. So this is the planet play area. Hi pumpkin! Hi! <laughs> Are you throwing the balls at people? Oh wow, okay. That's pretty cool. Planet Play, I showed a little bit more in depth last time, but it's basically three stories of just endless play for these kids. Definitely a highlight for them. There's a lot of the Kennedy Space Center that we didn't show this visit because we wanted to focus on everything else that we did miss. But if you have any questions, comment down below, message us on Instagram, and make sure to watch part one of our visit. Okay, yeah. Okay, subscribe. 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 Subscribe.